Today, I'm going to tell you about an Italian entrepreneur. Well, you could say pilot, no engineer, or neither inventor perhaps. Well, he's not easy to pigeonhole, so I shall just introduce him by name, Fabio Busi, and I'm going to drive one of his boats. Siamo qui in FB Design, che diversamente da tutti i cantieri dove il So here we are in FB Design. Unlike every other boatyard whose main reason is to produce, here production is a sideline. FB Design's real raison d'etre is in research. We create and do things here. As a motorboat pilot and boat builder, he's won 58 world titles, from champion to speed records. No sportsman in any discipline has won as many. But it's also worth knowing him as an inventor. At a certain point in his career, someone even started calling him Fabio Archimede Buzzi. If you want an example, how about the helicopter turbine on a boat, directly connected to the propeller axis? That resulted in another speed record. He's designed very fast hulls for all types of boats. The fastest diesel engines in the history of motorboats. New methods to build unsinkable boats. He designed the most efficient and safe propulsion system that a pilot could have. Embarking gears and, well, I'll stop there. But his list of patents is very long. Suffice to say that if he'd had that aesthetic touch, we'd have called him Leonardo da Vinci. In his career, he's met with the biggest Italian mechanical engineering company twice, Fiat. In the 80s, when Fiat's diesels were called Iveco, they used him to create the competition for the World Offshore Championship against the American petrol engines. That's the equivalent of a Formula One team using a diesel engine today. Absurd. But he managed to win the world title and form a team of Iveco diesel boats that carried on winning. The second time that Buzzi met up with Fiat was in 2008, when they decided to use the FPT industrial diesels, the company that produces all engines for the Fiat group that's been renamed FCA after the Chrysler Fiat fusion. And a new success with the engines from the NEF series. They won the 2008 Round Britain Trophy and the Cows Torquay Cows and then the 2010 the World Cup UIM Marathon. And in 2011, he set the record for the Monte Carlo to Venice. 2012 saw another record from New York to Bermuda. Right now, I really want to drive a FB design boat. Uzi isn't so keen on letting others drive his boats, but the film crew have found a way to distract him. So, how many coffees are missing? Of course, I have a few doubts, but it's only the petrol that's holding me back. Well, and how you put it in gear. OK, we're off, with just a switch. Simple system, economical, trustworthy, like a household appliance from the 60s. If you were hoping for a nice, quiet yacht today, forget it. This model has no shock absorbers, no padding, just substance. Think of the noise that any fiberglass boat makes hitting the waves. Hollow. And then there's the vibrations. This boat makes a noise that's almost metallic when it hits the waves, though. 
I haven't gone out of my way like I usually do to show you the trim and flap, but transmission here is in line with the axis, very simple, so there is no trim. And as for the flaps, they're managed automatically by a system that works on speed, so all you have to do is accelerate. You don't need to adjust the order, it does it itself. You get the right line of travel straight away. The engines are going 2,500 revs a minute and we're at 30 knots with two 500 horsepower FPT industrial thrusters. This model is a bit of a novelty for FB design, who don't only build record-breaking boats, but functional and efficient boats too. In the machine room you'll find two FTP N67 500 engines, 500 horsepower apiece. They're speed champions when you've got the 570 horsepower version. And like this, they're saving champions too. They've got six cylinders with fuel-injected electronic common rail, the best available in the boat industry at this power level. This is more rational boating, boating that uses the ultimate engines that save on petrol and reduce emissions, respecting the air and water. The automatic controlling system works perfectly. I can even choose the speed I want. Even with low turnover, 15 knots, there's no drifting. The boat balances perfectly all the time. What could be easier? This is both a naval patrol and rescue boat. It's even got a room just for survivors. Pilots and cabin crew enjoy a very protective and safe cockpit. These seats, for example, have been tested out by accelerating higher than 10G, which is more violent than an Apollo spacecraft landing. These seats have been bounced on 61,500 times, on 61,500 waves, like a trip from New York to Bermuda. What do you think? Would you like this as a day tripper? Oh, I know, it doesn't look so pretty, but if you don't like the green hull, you can change the colour. There are more important characteristics that are worth thinking about. It's not just about looks, and yes, this is a bit severe for a yacht. This boat was completely designed on a computer by one of the most experienced boatyards in the world. It was completely modelled by a five-axis robot cutter and it's divided into five-sectioned pools filled with expanded closed-cell polyurethane to guarantee it doesn't sink. Doesn't sound like much, eh? Now it's time to push it a little bit more, even if it isn't one of Boozy's racing yachts. I just want you to see and hear how these engines purr. The automatic system misses out the flaps, which would just be acting as brakes at this speed. It's gliding on the water on track perfectly. I don't need to adjust the path at all. You can tell it's a petrol boat, even by the sound of it. Maximum speed is 35 knots, which is pretty good for a 1,000 horsepower boat with so much stuff on it. Let's have some fun turning. Full speed, of course. Now, 
appena la riporto in rotta la spinta diventa molto più efficace. As soon as we're back on track, the thrust is more efficient. The two tunnels that make the propellers more efficient put up a bit of resistance when turning. But in the end, it's the speed we want when heading towards the objective. Not so much when we're weaving. So, looks apart, this is really a safe boat. If it looked like a yacht, I'd buy it. But what does the future look like? Better efficiency, less consumption, more respect for the environment, safety, comfort, all aspects that the top boatyards and engine manufacturers are working on. <laughs>